good morning children in the last video we were talking about the convection and the examples of convection convection is the process in which heat is transferred from hot to cold through a material by the actual movement of particles this convection process takes place in the formation of wind also now we will see more examples that is land breeze and the sea breeze these are the two phenomena which are taking place on the principle of convection what actually the sea breeze is this phenomenon occurs on the sea shore whenever you people visit the sea shore we always feel the cool air is blowing and that blow of cool air takes place due to the process of convection how it takes place let us see suppose it is the surface here we separate this is sea and this one is land here water present and if we assume this is day time this is day time during day time the light and the heat from the sun light and the heat from the sun travel towards the earth surface and is strike both the sea surface and the land surface gets the same amount of heat on the sea sir sea surface whatever be the heat from the sun reaches the same heat is received by the land also whenever any surface any object is exposed to, to the sunlight they become hot because they absorb the heat here the sea that is water and land both absorb the heat so that their temperature rises but the difference is the land surface absorbs more heat and become hot quickly than the sea surface water it is the basic property that land surface always absorbs heat quickly than the water surface so since this land surface absorb the heat energy more heat in short time so it will become hotter hotter compared to this the sea surface or the air over the sea become cool now we have the hot air and the cool air over the land surface the air become hotter over the land sea surface the air is cool already we know that the hot air expand and become lighter that lighter hot air rises up to fill the space the cool air blow from sea to land after reaching the higher places that air become cool and it goes to that place and this cause the blow of cool air from sea to land during day time in which heat is transferred from hotter to colder 
this phenomenon of blow of cool air from sea to land during daytime is known as sea breeze. Otherwise, we can define in this way also the blow of hot air from land to sea during daytime is known as sea breeze. This is one example. And then coming to the land breeze. Land breeze. Land breeze also occurs in the same principle of convection, but that occurs during night time. Means during night time also the cool air blows on the seashore. How it takes place? Let us see. This is once again the sea and the land. During night time no heat from the sun takes place. But the reverse process taking place. Once the object receives heat from the sun or from any source, it absorbs the heat energy. If nothing is reaching that surface, then what happens? They start to emit, they start to give out that heat energy from it. During night time, the land surface and sea surface both give out the heat energy which was absorbed during daytime. Now the land surface is giving out heat energy, sea surface is also giving out heat energy. Again the property comes, the land surface absorbs heat energy quicker, the similarly it also releases the heat energy quicker. It is the basic property of this land, it absorbs and releases heat energy quicker than the sea surface. When the heat energy is released or given out by the land surface, its temperature decreases and it becomes cool. Since it releases greater energy in shorter time, it will become cooler than the sea surface. Now the reverse thing has taken place. Over the sea surface, the air is hotter and over the land surface, the air is cool. Once again the same process, the hot air rises up and the cool air blows from land to sea surface. Here this in this process also the heat is transferred from hot to cold. So here also the convection process taken place and this blow of cool air from land to sea surface during night time is known as land breeze. So this is also taking place on the principle of convection. These are also the example of the convection process. Now we have completed the convection process and the next process in the transfer of heat is the radiation. In Similar to conduction and convection, in radiation also heat is transferred from hot to cold. But there is a little difference. In radiation, in radiation, the heat is transferred from hot to cold. Suppose this is hot one and another place is cool, cold one. Here also the heat is transferred from hot to cold. But the difference is this transfer of heat taken place without affecting the space in between them, without affecting the medium in between them. In conduction, heat was transferred through the material. In convection also it was transferred to the, through the material. But here the space in between the hot object and the cold object will not be affected. Means no medium is required for the transfer of heat. 
and that is the radiation so radiation is also the phenomenon of phenomenon in which a heat is transferred from hot to cold without affecting the medium in between them example from the sun the earth receives heat suppose this is earth sun and the earth surface from the sun during day time the earth receive heat and light it is receiving heat and light so here we can assume this is the hot object compared to this earth is cold one and in this heat is transferred from hot to cold in between this sun and earth there is no medium placed nothing placed it is the empty space up to the earth surface and atmosphere there is something air present but beyond that nothing present but still the heat is transferred from hot to cold so that is the process of radiation so radiation is the phenomenon in which heat is transferred from hot to cold without affecting the medium this is one of the example now we say the heat is radiated from the sun we are not saying the heat is released from the sun heat is radiated from the sun now the coming to this this word that which kind of objects can radiate the heat that's for this we say we can say that all the hot object every hot object whenever we take any hot object they all radiate the heat even we take the example of uh, uh, the example of objects in our surrounding us that can be discussed in the next video